Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photography and I am going to take you through a little edit here using one of my actions. Uh, the action is Paint the Moon Bliss and I just gave it out to my wonderful customers and friends on my Facebook page this morning and I'm going to select it here in the options palette, click play and it's going to run through and then we're going to look at it and see where we might meant to make adjustments to tweak it to our individual image. The number one thing I think with actions is that not very often are you going to run an action and have it be perfect on every image without doing a little adjusting, turning layers on and off, uh, lowering or upping the opacity on different layers. Um, it, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to what uh, finding out what works, but um, it just makes all the difference in the world if you can tweak your actions at the end. So we have this finished, and the first thing I'm going to do to this one here is it looks it looks good, but it looks a little too contrasty. So I'm going to go to this deeper layer here, and I'm going to lower the opacity on that to about 40. That's my baby grunting in the background. She's just waking up. And, um, and then we're going to, the, their faces look a little bit bright. So I'm going to go to a, the Brighten and Pop layer, and I'm going to choose my paintbrush over here, and I'm going to choose black for my paint, and make sure I'm on my layer mask, and I'm going to just paint over their faces a little bit there to keep it a little bit a little bit darker. That Brighten layer made it a little bit too dark, too bright on their faces. And then I'm going to go down here to my Sunset Hues layer, and I'm just going to turn it way up to kind of see what it does when I turn it way up. And that's much too much, but you can kind of see it gives it a little different um, gradient of color on there, and it brightens it at the same time. And so I'm going to turn it up to uh, about 25%. I like what it does to the colors, and I like how it lightens their clothes up a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing to the deep blue sky layer. I am going to turn that one up to about 16%. There we go. And I think that's all I need to do to this particular image. You can look through your layers and kind of see if, you, if the picture is looking too dark. You can see a lot of times I'll have a make it lighter and make it darker la uh, layer on every one of my images This or actions. This one doesn't have that, but most of the time they do. And you can adjust those to, uh, to fine-tune the <laughs> adjustments. Hopefully you didn't just hear my baby burp. <laughs> and um, just go through the layers and kind of look at your image. Um, if it looks too warm, you can find the cool-down layer and turn that on or turn it up and down. A lot of the layers, um, like the Boost Back Color layer, um, if you turn it on and off, you're not going to see that much of a difference. And you, if you, but if you turn the opacity up on that, you're going to see a much bigger difference. Probably not on the little video here, but it does, did make a big difference. So just play with everything and 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 get to the point where your individual image looks good with it, the adjustments you make. Okay, thanks for hanging in with me today. Everybody have a good day. Bye bye. Hi, it's Annie again, and it just dawned on me that I did not show you the before and after, so I am going to do that now. This is our before running bliss, and this is after running the action. Thanks again. Bye.